Hello everyone, welcome to episode 5 of A Fish Out of Water. I have a bunch of arrows stuck in my face. To start with today, we're going to be making a creeper temple over here that I've designed. I think it looks pretty awesome, so I'm excited to show you guys that. And we're going to be fixing up the storage area. Because I will show you down here, we only have two double chests. It's not going to be enough. So we're going to get some more storage and we're just going to tidy everything up. But before we do that, I kind of wanted to talk about a couple things in our world. And some of the future plans for it. I want to do a like mega city, right? I'm thinking like a steampunk style. So we'll have like some airships and a lot of like industrialization kind of going on. Which I think will kind of counteract this nicely. like. This is all very overgrown and stuff, and then this is going to be kind of, not necessarily pristine, but it's going to be like industrial, so there's not going to be nearly as much greenery. And also I think that'll stand out from the surrounding jungle really nice. But yeah, so steam steampunk style, right? And then I want to do like a gradient on the roofs going up. So like the roofs down here will be more of the normal copper, right? And then the roofs on the buildings up top will be more like bluish of the oxidized copper all the way to the castle at the top which will be you know like all oxidized copper i mean we'll mix other blocks in there too but the focus is on like that transition from orange to the bluish green from the copper because i think that's really cool and just want to play around with some of the 1.17 blocks so i'm definitely going to be incorporating some deep slate into this Maybe some amethyst if I can fit it in, if I can ever find one. Some dripstone I think would look pretty good. We're gonna be doing a whole lot of cool stuff. But before we can get to that kind of stuff, we really need to get the infrastructure of our world set up. So we need things like a gold farm and a wither skeleton farm to get beacons. Today, I wanna do the gold farm. The, with the gold farm, we'll be able to trade with piglins and also uh, fix up all of our tools because our tools are getting low and so is our armor And also I think I forgot to mention this the other day, but my zombie died the Same one that stole my amazing boots and now my boots are gone forever, but it's okay Because we're gonna jump into a time-lapse. We're gonna do this creeper farm and it is gonna be awesome I hope you guys enjoy So there it is. I think it came out pretty good. Um, I'm pretty happy with it. I like the tree. The tree is nice. There's a couple things I still want to add. Uh, like some leaves around the corners here. As well as some of the new like flowering leaves from the azalea trees. I think that would look really nice and kind of break it up a little bit. Because, you know, sometimes the green on green from the other jungle trees in the background can make it blend in a little bit. But it looks pretty nice. And let me show you the inside here. Also, you know, we got the the roots growing down, which I think is a cool touch. So on the inside, sandy floor. You know, I like it. It's kind of like a tropical vibe, right? And then a nice green canopy up above with some hanging lanterns for light. And we have a ton of chests here for gunpowder storage. And you can see we already got quite a bit getting stored up here. Somehow this one made it over here. Yeah. 
and I have this set up using some water streams and some hoppers and stuff like that. So originally we had a couple holes over here, right? Where we would drop down like really far where the creepers were, were burning on some campfires. But I made this, this like tube. And so every time a creeper dies, goes down there and burns. And then the items go through an auto dropper. They come up this water tunnel and they go around a big loop. Well, it would be a big loop. But, you know, it gets picked up by this first hopper, right? And then eventually this will fill up and it'll go down to the next one. The only other thing besides the leaves and the flowering leaves is more leaves actually over here. Because I overestimated the size of the temple a little bit, um, as you can kind of see. But we might add some other things around here. So like, you know, there might be a pathway leading over here to something. I'm not sure yet. All that being said though, we are really in desperate need of an XP farm because a lot of my tools are very low and I would like to repair them or at least be able to put mending books on them, which I currently do not have the levels for. So getting the gold XP farm is gonna be like a big step up in the world for us. And it's gonna let us do stuff a lot quicker. The gold, and beacons, the two things that we really need, gold and beacons. We are gonna need a ton of magma blocks though to build the gold farm, so before we can uh, get started on building that and breaking through the roof of the nether and all that good stuff, we're gonna need to jump into a little resource collectathon. <laughs> Wow, that was a lot of collecting, but we got it done. We have a whole lot of good stuff here. And with all this stuff, I think we are finally ready to go build the gold farm. The only thing we have to do first is actually use these ender pearls and get through the roof, break a hole, and then we'll be set. Wow, that one really hurt us, but it worked. It worked. Let's go. Success. All right. So thankfully I did not die. And since we have our hole, we can just uh, find the right biome, which is going to be, I think, nether wastes. Uh, pretty sure. So we're going to find a big old nether waste biome, and we're going to build our gold farm there. So uh, let's jump into a time lapse here. We're gonna build up this gold farm, the storage system for it, all that kind of good stuff. It is gonna take a little while. It's gonna be a big old project. And we have a whole lot of blocks to place. So let's get to it.
All right, so let me uh, show you the gold farm. We finished it up. I know you didn't see like the storage system being made and like that kind of stuff, but we did finish it up. Uh, one thing we definitely need to do is get a better way to get up here because this is not great. And every time I fly up here, I get shot at by a ghast, but that's cool. Uh, the one issue I had, which kind of made this top layer, I feel like kind of irrelevant, was uh, I think I might have made it like one block too high. So yeah, like where these glass pillars are, they're supposed to be one block higher and it's like to prevent gas, but they just kind of, I mean, they prevent gas still, but they also block the, some of the pigment spaces. But you know, it's a little less efficient, I guess, but it's all right. I don't need it to be like insane. So I got this top area set up with an enchanting setup, some books and that kind of stuff, and a whole lot of storage. And I already got the item sorters kind of outfitted here. So let's go up, let's grab, I have this box. All right, and this box has a ton of stuff that needs to be repaired and like all that stuff. Let's see. A little frightening. Oh, it's about to get really loud. Hold on. <laughs> I forgot how loud the pigment farms are. They are so loud. I oh, oh no. I just realized I totally forgot to put the minecarts in place. <laughs> so none of them are going to... Or they're going to die, but they're going to die super slow. Okay, hold on. I have to fix this. All right, so we got all the minecarts in place, except for four. We were missing four, and we might have some more iron back at the house, but I kind of feel like we don't. And the iron farm is not functional anymore because the zombie died. So we are going to just run it like this. All of them are good except for this one, which should just need a couple extra pigment in it to kill them. So, all that being said, let's give this another shot and see how long it takes to repair our pickaxe. All right, good shot, good shot. Here we go, here they come. Oh geez, I always, yep, turn the sounds down again, okay. Ooh, it's working. All right, so today's gonna be a little bit of a shorter episode. We're kinda, gonna wrap it up right about now, but I did wanna show you guys one more thing that I did back in the overworld relating to the Creeper Temple. So the one thing I wanted to show you about the Creeper Temple was that I actually put some of the pink leaves on it and I think they look pretty nice. I also thought it was interesting, like the saturation between these two leaves is way different. I thought they were like the same color, but they are not. But yeah, it looks, looks really nice. And I also put some leaves around the base. We'll do some bamboo when we get a reliable source of string. But for now, <laughs> the one little lone piece of bamboo is fine by itself. Next time, we are definitely going to be trying to find some bees. We very desperately are going to need bees. So we can wax up our copper and keep it in the right state. Because, you know, we're doing the, the mega city build where we're going to be having a whole lot of roofs. Each roof with like a different state of copper pretty much. So if they're aging by themselves, that's not going to work out. So before we even really get the copper, I need to get the honey or the wax or whatever. Plus then we can get some candles, which will be awesome because I've never seen a candle in game. So I am excited for that. And I've also been designing the first steampunk build and I think it's coming out pretty nice. So I am definitely excited for that, even though it's still a couple episodes away. Whenever we get to it, it's gonna be awesome. And I just want to say, you know, thank you all so much for watching. Like, when I'm such a small channel, like, people watching to the end like this, that, that's great. And it really means a lot to me. And, you know, if you did like the video, if you, you know, like, comment, and subscribe, help support the channel, it would, it would definitely make my day. And, yeah, so I think that's gonna wrap it up for today, though. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and I will see you in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.